Bushfire emergency has threatened Pierce Air Base as a fast-moving blaze forced residents to flee. Darius Winterfield is in Ballsbrook tonight and Darius crews are still actively fighting the fire. Michael, behind me are just some of the 60 firefighters who will remain here on the ground and well in the night to monitor this blaze. Earlier authorities issued an, emer an emergency warning level as this blaze came dangerously close to some of the properties here in Bullsbrook. Their major concern right now is the wind. There is a still a strong wind blowing through this area and they're urging residents to remain vigilant. A one and a half kilometre fire front tears through Bullsbrook, threatening lives and homes. <laughs> fuelled by powerful winds that whipped a wall of flames into spirals. The inferno just metres away from the Pierce airbase, runways and the control tower blanketed by thick smoke. Aircraft operations were restricted to assist the firefight. Part of the RAAF shut down with all non-essential personnel evacuated. At its peak, the blaze was spreading at two kilometres an hour, out of control and unpredictable. Residents on high alert. I'm just going home now just to make sure everything's all right. The fire started just after midday in a paddock off Almeria Parade. Bullsbrook local Maureen Shorter called triple zero when she spotted flames on her neighbour's property. And I'm panicking, I thought it would come across the paddock. There was a heavy presence in the air and on the ground. The ground's quite dry, it's been dry for a long time. As soon as a little bit of wind with an ignition source, it's always going to take off, and, and that's what happened. With fears up to 40 kilometre an hour wind gusts, would push the fire front closer to homes. So I was here on my own and no one could get in touch with me, of course, they'd heard it, there was a fire here. 92 hectares was burnt in the blaze, but the cause tonight remains a mystery. Darius Winterfield, Nine News.